setups and payoffs. We hear about them so much in the filmmaking community. If you set something up, you've got to pay it off. Well, what exactly is a setup and what is a payoff? A setup is information embedded within your screenplay used in conjunction with a payoff in order to influence or impact your story later. Think of setups as mini cliffhangers that you're sprinkling all throughout your screenplay in order to help propel the audience through your plot's rough terrain. And your mini men at the bottom of the cliff is your payoff, RIP. Setups and payoffs work very similarly to cause and effect. You cannot have a setup without a payoff. You cannot have a payoff without a setup. Hello everybody, Alan Northern here giving you filmmaking tips and tricks and today I'm going to teach you what a setup and a payoff is and how you can implement these two fantastic screenwriting tools in your screenplay and not only how to implement it but how to actually use them effectively. Excited? Give this video a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future videos, and let's get started. Robert McKee refers to setup as a means to layer in knowledge. A setup is information embedded in a person, place, thing, idea, concept, metaphor, or ideal that plays out or pays off, eh? No? Okay. Later in your story. McKee states that the payoff closes the knowledge gap by delivering that knowledge to the audience. Simply put, setups are the seeds and payoffs are the trees. Oh, and don't forget to hit the like button. So now we know a little bit about what a setup and payoff is, but how exactly can it be implemented in your film? But well, I've found in my research that there are four ways in order to implement them properly in your film. Okay. Seriously, here are the four steps to implementing these in an effective way. So first off, you've got to plant those seeds before you show the trees. And we know that effective storytellers, those veterans out there, are not only able to do this, but they are able to make them work, set up some payoffs, make them work in such a synergistic way that their payoff is also their setup and their setup is their payoff for future story plot points. Let's talk about one of the films that had one of the best setups and payoffs in recent memory, The Sixth Sense. Setups and payoffs were so effective in this film that it earned this horror film six Oscar noms in the 161st spot on IMDb's top 250 movies of all time. M. Night plants these seeds very early in the movie. We've been experiencing the paranormal with Cole the moment we were introduced to his character. Set up. Cole! Hey, your Cocoa Puffs are getting soggy. Let me see. Oh, honey, you got the spot. Head up. Payoff, set up. Something you're looking for, baby? Pop tarts. Payoff. Not only does M Night use setups as payoffs, but he uses payoffs as setups. This really helps the script feel a lot more cohesive and helps assist the thriller's pace and flow. Please plant your seeds and grow your trees. If you do not plant those seeds, then you will not have a coherent story. That payoff and that aha moment will appear to come out of nowhere and have no resonance with your audience. And that is not what you want. It's no secret that great stories forces audience members to recall certain things that happened in the movie previously. So you want each and every scene you write to have seeds. And you've got to ask yourself, did I hit the like button? But seriously, ask yourself, did I plant those seeds in an interesting, compelling way? Just food for thought. Number two, explore multiple payoffs for your setups and explore multiple setups for your payoffs. Then decide which is the best one for each. 
we initiate setups and payoffs automatically because our brains are just so used to seeing how setups and payoffs work in film that we just implement it on autopilot. So we already know how setups and payoffs are supposed to work on a subconscious level in our films. We're not thinking, oh, I'm gonna write a payoff. Oh, I'm gonna write a setup. I'm gonna write this. No, not initially. But after you've written a draft, please explore multiple payoffs for your setups and vice versa. As you're writing the payoff, are you surprised by it? Does it make you feel fulfilled? Are you like, wow, this is, this is, this is good. And that's a good indication that you're on the right track. Did you plant enough seeds for your payoff? Just a few questions to consider. Number three, irony. Is it ironic? Irony works because it's unsuspecting. It's a tool storytellers have used for years and years and years to surprise audiences all around the globe. Is the payoff what the protagonist expects or is it the opposite of what the protagonist expects? What is the payoff's fallout or impact? Captain America, Civil War. It's us, because this is the last time we're all going to be together. You know what's about to happen. Say something. If you don't, you'll regret it. Set up. Someone kills Iron Man's parents. A rogue killer murders Iron Man's parents in cold blood. It's pretty unlikely you would have guessed the murderer would be the Winter Soldier. This major plot point catapults this film into its final satisfying emotional climax. This isn't going to change what happened. I don't care. He killed my mom. <laughs> Payoff. Captain America and the Winter Soldier have got to team up to face Iron Man. <laughs> Number four, you've got to ask yourself, does each and every major setup and payoff directly tie in to my story's controlling idea? If you do not know what a controlling idea is, I've made a video on it, it's right here, and I'll also put it in the comments below. If you're interested in screenwriting, please check out one of the books I have linked below. A couple of them I used in film school, and the others I picked up along the way, but they're really instrumental to screenwriting and filmmaking, so please check one out. And if you're interested in checking out my film, The Brotherhood, on Amazon Prime, it is on there for free. To check it out, I will also put a link to that below. Thanks for watching guys, please like, subscribe and comment below and I'll talk to you next time. See ya.